again, this is the one that I will often read. And as you let your breath out this last fourth time, take your arms out of that position and lace them just straight on like this and put your fingers right up here between your eyebrows. You do the same breathing. One more time. As you let your breath out, bend your fingers into your forehead, push in hard, and pull across all the way to your temples. <laughs> okay? Now, having just been on my forehead, I could feel something, and I'm going to share it with you now because this will happen to every single person on the planet at some time. If, when you get stressed out uh, and you go into that fight or flight response, what happens is the blood leaves your forebrain and it goes into your body uh, to be stronger to, or to be swifter to run. And uh, but we, we were not made or we didn't evolve to be able to think our way out of these situations because we don't have all our blood there. You can draw it back up into your head. You can take your hands, put one hand on your forehead, one hand on the back of your head or your neck, whichever feels better. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the, the vagal nerve these days. And if you lay it on your neck, you'll, you'll hook up with your vagal nerve. And you just take a deep breath in and just let go. You can think about your issue, you can think about your problem, and you just hold it and you start feeling that you're feeling better. You can do it with breath or not, whichever feels best. I sometimes do it like this. If I put my thumb in my temple, this, these are called neurovascular points and they govern triple warmer meridian which governs the fight or flight response. I put one thumb there and my fingers here with a slight pull to the side and hold those points that way. I can't tell you how long to hold them because it depends on how bad your stress is. You will know, you will know when the blood is coming back up because suddenly you can think again. So it's a great thing to do. It's a great thing to do every day because beyond making you uh, uh, feel better and lifted out of the stress, it will start training your brain to um, to, to do it, to, to, to not flip out so much, you know, it will, it will stay centered in, in very difficult stress moments, all right? So do that, do that every day. I've heard so many reports about people who have done that, and uh, and they, they all report. They are so, they just do not uh, fall apart when before they would have fallen apart. And I'll just speak about myself for a minute. Um, there was a time that I, I handled much less stress and would fall apart. I don't anymore. So I really count on these exercises. All right, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to show you one more exercise. Okay, uh, all right. Rub your hands together, shake them off, put them on your thighs. Now you're going to take a deep breath in and out. Turn your arms out, your hands out, take a deep breath in, and lift your hands up to the sky. And as you let your breath out, bring your thumbs You're right on the top of your head. You're right in the middle of your crown chakra. You're going to hook up all of your chakras so that they um, they communicate better to each other. This also, by the way, is excellent for, uh, for yourself or children if they've gotten very, very hyper. So you take a deep breath in again and bring it down to the third eye between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in again. Now skip your throat chakra and come to your heart chakra. I'll explain that later. But here we are on our throat chakra, I mean our heart chakra. Take a deep breath in as you let your breath out. Take your thumbs to your belly button and triangle your fingers on your second chakra. Take a deep breath in and flatten your hands. And as you let your breath out, smooth your hands all the way down your legs. And I'm going all the way down my legs. 
and, and let go. And then just make a figure eight down by your ankles and then start traveling all the way up. Figure eights are really excellent and necessary uh, to uh, help all of the energies be in, in great communication with each other, okay? Now, I'll just tell you why you don't get that on your throat. Is because the throat is, there is so much energy there and there is such intelligence there and, and a lot is going on here that, um, well, okay. You not only have a spiraling energy here like all chakras have, there's also a figure eight here. It goes to the side, there's an up and down figure eight here. And there is there are seven chambers here, seven chambers and each chamber goes to a different chakra so that, so that everything from your body can be fed into your brain better and from your brain down into your body. And, um, and those chambers really deal with the vagus nerve as well. So, uh, so if you come and put your thumbs here, it actually disturbs that energy that is handling it all by itself. So, so I, I, I want to go through all of it with you. David, why don't you come up and do it with me? We're going to do them all together now. <laughs> and, um, Let's see, what was, oh, okay. The first, oh, there was one more I want to do, I'm sorry. We'll just do this at the beginning, of, right now, before the four thumbs. We're going to make sure our energies are crossing over because if you've been depressed at all, if you've been sick at all, if you've been too overwhelmed, your energies tend to not cross over anymore. They need to cross over to have you be all who you are in your body and being, okay? So take Take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder. Push in hard and drag across to the opposite hip. And then on the left, put the left hand up over the right shoulder and cross it. And just cross it over. And later, if you have somebody who loves you, you can have them cross over in the back because it's always good for you. All right. All right. Oh, it's really good. It's, it's really good. Uh, I, I should do it for him, but I'll do it later. Okay, so um, now we're going to do four thumbs. And again, the first one is right here on the cheekbones, and that crowns you. The energy literally pulses down your body and off your feet, and then there's a suction pull on the earth. All right, and, and continue to breathe while you do these. This is K27, the 27th point on kidney meridian. And it makes sure that everything is going in the right direction. It just aligns all the energies. So it's also aligned with planet Earth. And then your thymus or your immune system and your vitality. And then spleen meridian for uh, metabolizing uh, all of the things that come into your body or into your spirit. Okay, now we're going to do a hookup. Uh, one, a uh, finger at your third eye, one at your belly button, push both in and pull up. And this allows the energies to connect the back of your throat and create a microcosmic orbit around your body, which is amazing for centering and bringing you back to yourself and giving you some distance around your body with your aura as well. Now, the next one is the raincoat. You're going to put the arm out, left arm out in front, turn it backwards, take your right hand, cross it over, and clasp them together and bring them up. And you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You're going to lift your body up and out. This is so good. If you tend to scramble or kind of lose your way, what were you doing? <laughs> or if you're feeling overwhelmed, suddenly it puts life into perspective again. And then unlace your hands and arms and put them together in a cathedral position. Put it up to your third eye and do the same breathing. One more time. As you let your breath out, bend your fingers into the middle of your forehead, push in hard, 
pull it across a few temples and let go. Now, uh, now we're going to, um, oh yes, <laughs> uh, when you're under stress, if you put one hand on your forehead, one hand either on the back of your head or the back of your neck, and just hold while you think about your stress, and it will, it will lift you up out of it in time. <laughs> and I don't know how long that time is. It just depends. If you want, you can trade and do it like this. Put your thumb here in, in the temples and your fingers here and do the same breathing. I have a daughter who did this years ago when she was trying to remember her childhood and if something bad ever happened to her. And she'd go to bed holding her points like this. And, uh, and then push your fingers in hard, pull them across, and let go. Uh, she, she began remembering her dreams. She remembered that nothing bad happened, but she got clarity on all of the things she was confused about. Now, let's see, what was next? Uh, I've got two minutes. I'm going to throw in one more. Oh, I know. It was this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to throw in one more. I'm going to do something else other than that. You'll remember that one, right? Okay. Rub your hands together, shake them off, put them on your backs. And this is for communication between your chakras and also to help a child or yourself come out of a hyperactivity. So swing your arms above your head and as you let your breath out, bring your thumbs to your the top of your head in the crown chakra. Deep breath in. As you let your breath out, come to the third eye. Take a deep breath in. Let your breath out. Skip your throat chakra and come down to your heart chakra. Deep breath in. As you let your breath out, come down to your belly button. Triangle your fingers on your second chakra and let your breath out. Flatten your hands. Take a deep breath in. And smooth your hands all the way down. Just imagine I'm going all the way down to my feet. David is. And when he gets down there, he's going to make figure eights down by his ankles. Come all the way up. Again, figure eights are these, this masterful geometrical shape that really helps all the energy um, stay connected to each other. Okay, I do have time for four minutes. Okay, one last one. <laughs> when you've got too much stress in your body and you're on overload, and, and maybe you want to get rid of it so that you can do something interesting or fun or even to go see a healer, you will be more emptied out and be ready to have somebody work on you even. So you rub your hands together and shake them off. Now lay your fingers uh, sideways on your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you let your breath out, drag your fingers to your temples. And take a deep breath in and push your fingers above your ears. They go down around behind your ears, down your neck, and hang on your shoulders. Deep breath in. As you let your breath out, push your fingers hard into your shoulders and come down here to your heart chakra. I call that. That's like the triple warmer Vegas smoothie, okay? And it really does move stress buildup out of your body. You can do that two or three times. Anyway, thank you for letting me come into your, your, your homes. And uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And why, yes, take these with you and learn them and make them a part of your life. Thank you.